Alrighty folks, I'm back and today we've got E85 and by the way, made about $80 on YouTube although I haven't gotten a check yet. So E85, got this out of a pump. The pump said it had a minimum of 70% ethanol. So I guess that means it might be E70 because uh, E85 means it's 85% ethanol. But I have no way of testing to see exactly what it is. It's probably between 85 and 70 somewhere there. Um, yeah, and it has an octane rating of 105. Octane rating does not mean it has more energy or more power. Um, it actually has less energy per gallon than gasoline does. Okay, you can look up the joules per gallon on Wikipedia or something like that. But uh, yeah, it has a higher octane rating, which means it is less li likely to spontaneously combust under compression. So let's see if it burns. Oh yeah, look at that. Got a little flame there. So, ta-da, it burns. Don't need to bring out the blowtorch. A nice little flame. All right, yeah, and just so you know, E85, to me, looks totally clear. Ta-da. So next up is propane, and I actually took this video a little while ago, so I'm wearing different clothes and different table. Liquid propane. Now I gotta make this one quick um, because it evaporates pretty quick. But right here in the bottom, got a little bit of liquid propane. Propane, it's kind of clear. Um, propane turns to a liquid around negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now it's dry, it's 109, but it'll boil off pretty darn quick. So gotta make this one quick. So there, right there in the bottom, liquid propane. And this stuff will burn really good. So Let's burn it, but we'll be safe here. Scoot back. I actually didn't burn near as much as I thought. Oh, here we go. Just a little bit of flame on the top of there. That is liquid propane burning. It's so cold that it's not even burning that fast. I figured it'd burn a lot faster, but as it warms up here, I'm putting my hands on it, giving, making it boil a little bit. It's kind of cool. You can actually see it boiling at the bottom. Here, I'll put it out. So you can actually see it boiling in the bottom because it boils at negative 40 degrees right there. So let's put it on fire again. So there we go, now it's boiling pretty good. It's actually not near as violent as I thought. But that right there is liquid propane. Boils at negative 40 degrees. And it's just a nice smooth flame. I've never seen such a beautiful flame. You'll notice it doesn't burn inside the jar itself. There's no light coming from the jar. That's because there's no oxygen in there for it to burn. It's too much propane. As soon as the propane comes up over the edge, it uh, mixes with a little bit of air that's blowing. There's kind of a slight wind here, and that's what's causing it to flame up on the outside. So you can see in there, that's liquid propane boiling. I could watch that all day. So now the question is, what do you do with all these fuels now that I've done these tests to them? Well, I'll show you. Come here. So the big question, what do I do if I have a whole bunch of jet fuel laying around the house? Well, you put it in your diesel pickup. Don't put it in your gas one. And yes, this is actually jet fuel. So you got rid of your jet fuel, but now you got aviation fuel laying around. Well, all you gotta do is put that in your gas rig. It's just 100 octane instead of the 87. Geo will have lots of power. So next we have E85 and it's going in the Geo because, well, put a gallon of aviation fuel in it and that has no ethanol. So this will kind of balance it out. Plus it's already a, almost a full tank, so it'll dilute it. The key thing with E85 is that it eats up rubber gaskets and stuff. Um, so it's not that great, especially if you're gonna 
have a car sitting a lot, but this thing gets used a lot. And uh, yeah, most gasoline contains 10% ethanol already. So this will just increase it a little bit. You know, it's an eight gallon tank. Add one gallon of E85, it, it, you know, whatever. I, I'm not doing the math, but you know, 15% ethanol at the most. Won't be the end of the world. Besides, I paid $800 for this car, so. By the way, E85 is not the cheap way to fill a Geo Metro, just so you know.